Well, one of my operatives who ha has certain information that that that, that we need to to, tr to sort of cap capture our man um, has fallen into his hands, been been brutally sort of has been tortured and uh, and dies and he holds the key he holds the secret and we are approached with this new science this new technology that can that can transport transplant one a memory from one 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 person to another which i am told is not so implausible and uh, they, at least they have managed to do this quite successfully with uh, with lab mice and rats those poor mice and rats <laughs> um, but uh, so it's not it's not as it's not quite as sci-fi as it as it appears um, but of course you have to be a certain type for this process to work and it's uh, something to do with some damage to the frontal lobe or or um, and of course the candidate the perfect candidate for this is is someone that my character Quaker Wells absolutely loathes and despises and wouldn't and wouldn't give, give the time of day to but he's a bit of a bully anyway. He's, a, he's, he's quite a terrible boss to work for. So I guess it's it's a little bit of karma that comes around where he has to kind of uh, he has to work with uh, with uh, with this character Jericho, um, and that in, and that really in itself was part of what attracted me to the project because it was it was a thriller, but in a it, this dynamic I'd not quite seen before, you know, it was quite unique. That's the, 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 the fun of it, that you've got this person who is, as you say, precise and methodical, meets um, chaos and uh, and gains, in the end, really a degree a degree of respect for this guy, um, to the point where there's even the possibility of a job offer. Um, you know, Kevin. I mean, Kevin plays this. Kevin plays this. Uh, this this sociopath, psychopath. Um, the sort of brutal convict, um, but there are, but it, you know, we see glimmers of the sort of of the maybe the boy in him, you know, the the, the something, the, the perhaps a, a, a glimmer of the good in him. Um, we see obviously the nasty side of him, the very sort of violent side of him, and then in amongst that, we see. The personality of the character that Kevin uh, the, uh, Kevin Reynolds Ryan Reynolds plays, so um, who is uh, and we see those memories with his with the, that, that flash through with his with his wife and his and his kid. So um, Kevin make Kevin Cosner makes it look very easy, um, but he he really he really pulls it off. It's not. It's not as easy as it looks. The way that he sort of switches between the sort of violent Jericho, the softer Jericho, and the memories of, and the and, and, and really the other personality in the which is which is in the memory. Um, I think he does a great job. Um. Well, one of the reasons why I wanted to do it, you, you know, I, I I was intrigued by the material. I met Ariel and I said, look, you know, you've got this this 
hurdle, which is this brain, this brain transplant thing. I mean, how are you going to pull it off? You know, because if you don't, if if that doesn't work, then you can't. The audience are not going to go on the ride with you. I mean, it's 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 everything. It's the it's the showstopper. And um, and he had such a great take on it, such confidence and um, and energy and charm that it won me over. I thought, yeah, this this guy knows what kind of movie he's making. Kevin was already involved, so I knew that Kevin was was on board, um, and it was one of the reasons why that that you know with with the with the enthusiasm of, of Ariel and the opportunity of working with Kevin again from you know reuniting from the and Tommy Lee from the from the JFK days uh, Kevin is he's a very hard worker he's very he's meticulous and thorough he wants he's very present he wants you know what he's 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 working on this film and he wants it to be the best it can be um and uh that's infectious it's contagious that that not just for other actors but for the crew and the whole team sort of working on it so he's very uh he's very gung ho you know he comes in with great energy and ready to work and i like that i i really i respect that i've worked with some people who are lazy or they don't know their lines or um, um, and uh, so he's very he's very sort of uh, he's very professional in that sense and it was great to sort of see him and you know what it was like that you know it was like we'd done JFK yesterday It's exactly that. I mean, it sort of delivers on all those points. You know, it's fast-paced. It's got a lot of action in it. Um, it it's in it, at the at the centre of it. This idea of this uh, memory transplant, if you will, is is something we haven't seen before. It makes it quite sort of unusual and unique. 